a new video so I am super super excited today because I am finally going to be shooting the trash dresses so if you've been keeping up with the vlogs then you'll know that over the summer during quarantine um, I did I made a load of dresses out of trash basically I have eight in total um, and I have two weeks to shoot all eight of them <laughs> So basically because of the pandemic I am not allowed to shoot at my college because I can't bring my sister in to model for me so we've pulled a lot of strings and I'm going to be shooting at my grandparents house. Um, hopefully the country doesn't lock down within the next couple of weeks because that could cause some problems but you know we're just going to hope for the best. <laughs> so I have borrowed equipment from the college um, so I've got lights and everything and they're already at my grandparents house. I brought them up last week. So. What basically, I'm not sure if I'm going to have to split this into like two or even four videos because I don't know how much footage I'm going to have, but for now I'm kind of thinking I want to just make it one video, but we will have to wait and see. But yeah, basically this is going to be a behind the scenes video and I'm just going to show you the whole process of me shooting these trash dresses because I worked on them for so long and they like it's just going to look amazing and I just want to share it. So the plan for the shoots is that we have eight dresses and four shoot days. So today is Tuesday and we're going to be shooting two dresses today. We're then going to be shooting two on Friday, two on next Tuesday and two on next Friday. So it's going to be a chaotic couple of weeks and I'm basically just going to be living and breathing these trash dresses for the next fortnight. But I am really excited and like they're just going to look amazing so I don't mind. Like I said I am using my sister as a model because uh, I don't have any accessible friends at this time and also you know we can't exactly be hiring models and stuff at the moment because of the pandemic so she's really my only option but I was going to use her anyway so that's fine. As I said I am going to be using my grandparents house, they very kindly uh, handed out their house over to us basically for the next two weeks. Uh, their conservatory is full of my equipment and stuff, um, our dining room is also full of my equipment and stuff so you know I've pretty much taken over both houses at this point but it'll be over in a couple of weeks and then we can go back to our lives. So yeah, it is currently 8am, we are going to be leaving at 9 in the hopes that we'll be there by about 10. It takes about 45 minutes usually to get to my grandparents' house from where we are. Um, so yeah, it like I would have preferred to start a lot earlier but obviously we've got to travel there. Um, and my sister is not great at getting out of bed early. Uh, so even though I like to get up at the crack of dawn, um, everyone else doesn't. So, you know. So yes, we will be leaving in an hour and then we have, we've got two that we're shooting today and I will tell you which two we're going to be shooting in a moment and I will walk you through them. But the plan is, is that I've kind of, I've organised it so that we'll always be doing the more complicated one of the day in the morning and then we'll be doing the easier one in the afternoon. Um, and I've also sort of ranked them all so that I'm not doing like two super complicated ones on one day because uh, some of them are significantly more complicated than others. Also because of the pandemic um, I haven't been able to collaborate with any makeup artists or hair stylists at the college. Um, I am on my own in this so I not only have to be the photographer but I have to be the stylist and I have to do the makeup. Uh, my mum's gonna do her hair for me um, so that cuts down on what I'm doing a tiny bit but you know I'm no pro at makeup so it's going to be interesting but we don't have another choice so. so as I said there are eight dresses in total so I'm going to run you through all of the ones that I have and then I'm going to tell you in more detail which ones we're doing today so the eight that we have are the names won't mean much to you at the moment but I'm going to tell them you anyway um, so there's the jellyfish dress there is the lace dress there is the peacock tail there is the blazer uh, we have a bin bag dress we have a rag dress we have a paper skirt and we have a geometric slash space dress. So today we're going to be shooting the jellyfish dress and the lace dress. We're doing the jellyfish in the morning and the lace in the afternoon. I will run you through the jelly jellyfish now and then I will run you through the lace at lunchtime uh, when we're sort of swapping over. Um, so yeah, for now this is sort of the plan for the jellyfish dress. So the jellyfish dress was heavily inspired by a dress I saw made on the Great British Sewing V. I believe it was season 5. Um, I loved it so much so I sort of recreated it, put my a little bit of a twist on it um, and yeah you can see the vibe for it and it was just kind of basic makeup but 
I really love the jellyfish dress and I think there's a lot that I can do with it. So now you know what the plan is, let's jump straight into the vlog and just get going because I've got a lot to do today and I need to stop talking. <laughs> I made. Uh, it has a massive bow on it which Esme Young would be very proud of. Uh, she's one of the judges of the Great British Sewing Bee which clearly I am quite a big fan of. Uh, so yeah this is definitely one of the most simpler, simplest ones but I still think it's going to be really effective. <laughs> Try me 
cocktail was a pain in the ass to make and move and shoot because it was so delicate it took me days to try and glue all of the CDs on but it looks absolutely stunning so I'm so excited to shoot this one. I think all the reflections and the colours and the CDs are going to look phenomenal. Uh, there's going to be really glittery makeup involved and I have also made a peacock mask which I may or may not use. But yeah this one's just going to look so cool which is great because it was such a pain in the ass to make that you know it, 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 it had better look good basically. <laughs> simple one I just bought a men's blazer from the charity shop for a couple of quid and then I sewed all of my tablet blister packs onto it uh, it only took me a couple of weeks to collect all of these tablet blister packs which probably tells you quite a lot about all of the tablets I take but you know I think it looks really cool it is definitely one of the more simpler pieces but I sometimes think like you know less is more so I think this one's gonna look really great and I've got some really cool fabrics to put in the background as well third day of shooting we're exactly halfway through the shoot four dresses down four to go um i'm pretty exhausted because like my life has literally just been these dresses for an entire week now and i've still got a week to go but it'll all be worth it in the end because the ones i've taken so far look amazing i'm really happy with them i haven't edited them yet at this point in time i don't know when i will put the photos in the video um, I'm just not sure where I've put them in so you may have already seen them um, <laughs> but yeah I haven't edited them at this point but I know they're gonna look great because honestly just the unedited ones look great so I'm super excited to edit them. But yeah I thought I'd just come in and update you because I know I haven't really talked to you much in this video and it's been a lot of b-roll. I've just kind of been filming everything and then I'll cut it down at the last minute and you know edit it all into one video. I think it's just gonna be one video rather than splitting into lots of videos. But yeah I hope you've been enjoying watching me shoot these because it's been really fun doing it even though it has been extremely exhausting. In between shoots I have quite literally been doing like the most amount of nothing that is humanly possible. You know I've just been coming home and lying in bed watching TV, <laughs> uh, playing Animal Crossing pretty much uh, in between shoots because they're just oh they're so much, they're so tiring to do. But I know it will all be worth it in the end. So today we are shooting two more dresses. Uh, we're doing the 
well, what I call the space dress and also the bin bag dress. Um, so yeah, the two of, I mean, they're not hugely complicated, but they are somewhat complicated. Um, I kind of had to put them together because, well, by process of elimination, basically, because uh, I tried to pair them up so that I was sort of doing a difficult one in the morning and an easy one in the afternoon. Um, but for some of them, it didn't quite work out that way because some of the hairstyles uh, had to be put together specifically uh, because of what resources we have, basically. Uh, so we put like the two wavy hairstyles together and, you know, the two straight hairstyles together. But that means that obviously some of them had to be switched around into not a preferential order. Is that a word? Preferential? You know what I mean. Into the preferred order. <laughs> So yeah, ni neither of them are hugely difficult today, but it like the the level the difficulty level is sort of going to stay the same throughout the day, which isn't ideal, but is not a big deal. So yeah, it's already eight o'clock, and I need to get my stuff together. So I will leave you with the overview of what we're doing today. We're starting with the space dress, and I will show you the bin bag dress stuff later on. Uh, so yeah, this is what we're doing this morning, and I'll catch up with you later. I call this the space dress, and honestly, this one is just so cool i kind of modeled it after a sort of video game girl outfit uh you know how you know in lots of video games they have those stereotypical like short skirts with kind of overly sexualized female characters so i kind of went for that style and i sort of reinforced it with some lollipop sticks um that were like wrapped in masking tape so it's a very structured dress but i think it looks really great uh, and i'm going to get my sister to wear my doc martens with it as well there's going to be some neon lights and it's just going to be very video game vibes uh which i think is super cool <laughs> I didn't actually get much footage of the bin bag dress but it's very simple I just did a three-tiered skirt dress that I made out of bin bags I held it together with a shit ton of staples um, and yeah this is just gonna be a very simple one but I, again I think it's gonna be simple but effective <laughs> dress is going to be an interesting one for her to wear because it's extremely heavy and it's just it's heavy in weird places because essentially I made the basis of the dress and then I made lots of little bags out of more fabric scraps and then filled the bags with the spare fabric scraps and then sewed those bags onto the fabric dress so it's kind of very strange and it's very lumpy and heavy in weird places so it's going to be interesting for her to wear but i think it's going to look really cool and i'm going to shoot it in sort of like a runway sort of style <laughs> Thank you.
is the paper skirt and honestly I adore this one. I did actually make some like last minute alterations. It was originally sort of a full on dress rather than just a skirt. But the last minute I decided to sort of just tuck the top of the dress in and just have her wear her black bra because I thought it was just simpler that way and the original fabric was sort of green and I decided I didn't like the green. So I cut that out but honestly I love this one and I'm going to do a lot of pink tones with it because uh, I think it'll match her pink hair quite nicely. <laughs> Soon enough. <laughs>